Good afternoon. My name is Larry Clayman. You know me as the founder of both Judicial Watch and now Freedom Watch. I'm currently the chairman and general counsel of Freedom Watch. I'm someone who, in the course of my educational background and career, lived in France, studied in France. I speak French, and I'm a Francophile. In fact, when I went to Duke University, I majored in French literature, and I've always followed French politics. That was another aspect of my major at Duke University. And I've observed that in recent days there's a controversy that's been brewing, particularly in Europe, France in particular, over comments made by Marine Le Pen. I'll give you a little French pronunciation there. She's the daughter of Jean-Marie Le Pen, uh, who was her father, who was a vehement anti-Semite ultra-right. In this country, you'd say alt-right. Marine Le Pen is different. She's done many things that have tried to ingratiate herself with the Jewish community in France and elsewhere. She very well could win the presidency in the next French election. But she made a comment saying that the French government was not responsible for some some atrocities that occurred in World War II with regard to Jews. And she's being criticized and being unfairly tagged as anti-Semitic. Now you know that I'm a Jew and I'm also a Christian and I'm very proud of my Jewish heritage. And I've got to tell you, I don't consider that to be anti-Semitic. Because one of the things that really is true is that there was an alternative government. There was a government in waiting that was being led by General Charles de Gaulle in London during World War II. That was the government of France, not the government that was in effect put in there by the Nazis called Vichy France. And those were the ones that committed the crimes. You cannot blame the French people for the crimes of Vichy France. And in fact, the French people supported de Gaulle. And there was a huge resistance in the south of France, in particular, where I studied, in Aix-en-Provence. professor named André Meyer, who was a Jew, who was very pro de Gaulle. And I've got to tell you, de Gaulle probably, of any leader in the 20th century, was mo- more pro-Israel than anybody else. But for the military supplies and MiG fighters that were supplied to Israel in the early days, when they had a chance of going under, when the Arabs were attacking nearly daily, and there were several wars, it was France that stood there for the Israeli people and for Jews. And I might point out that in American history, we've never had one Jewish president or vice president. Yet France has had four presidents or prime ministers. The last one being Sarkozy, who was half Jewish. Before that, you had Mitterrand, I believe, was partially Jewish as well. You had Mondes France and you had Léon Blum. And you had a prime minister by the name of Laurent Fabius under a French socialist regime of François Mitterrand. He is now the foreign minister of France. So how is it that France has had four or five presidents or prime ministers who are Jewish and the United States has not even had one?
can we call France anti-Semitic as a result? So I want to criticize those, particularly on the Jewish left, who frankly have disserved not just this country, but they've disserved Europe and Israel as well. I'm saying that as a Jew, because most Jews aren't like that, who have called Marine Le Pen anti-Semitic, because in fact she's right. The real government of France was in London at the time, and it was run by the great Charles de Gaulle. God bless you, God bless America. Today is your history lesson from Larry Kleeman, and I wish you all a very happy holiday.